Hi crafty friends, it's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi, and welcome to the crafty corner on the go. <laughs> um, and welcome to a little bit of um, a little bit of crafting together. So um, let's see. What do I want to tell you? Hold on, let me refresh my computer. So um, I'm actually on the road, which is kind of rare these days. Um, let's see, yay, there I am. And it's totally okay if you're watching this um, on a replay because I'm doing it at two o'clock on a Friday. Um, normally I do it at five o'clock on the Friday or 5.30, it just depends on the day. Um, anyway, I'm on the road because I came to Indiana to help my son with his senior recital, which was last night and it was wonderful. And I did the videotaping with this um, switcher app and my iPad and my phone and move some equipment. Um, he's a percussionist, so I played a lot of marimba, that's his current love, and timpani, and I don't know, glockenspiel, and xylophone, snare drum a little bit. Anyhow, um, yeah, so it went really well, and now I'm super tired, because it was a really long day yesterday, and I didn't sleep well in the hotel. Um, no problem with the hotel, it's a pretty normal, you know, mid-range hotel. Um, just, I just, you know, got some, a bunch of leg cramps, and I just couldn't sleep. Anywho, let's, oops, let me get this ready. So that way when I push it down here, okay. We are gonna craft a little bit and take a look. So I brought my paper pumpkin kits with me. Um, I brought this new one and then I brought last month. So I'm thinking, cause my son is actually busy now working on a um, paper that's due tonight. Cause you know, he's a college kid and that's apparently what sometimes I do. So I'm, I got some downtime in the hotel so I'm gonna work on making some Christmas cards. So let's jump in. So as always, if you don't know what a paper pumpkin kit is, it is our once a month craft kit in the mail. Okay, uh, it always says paper pumpkin, but sometimes they change the box. And um, this one is called uh, Jolly, Jolly Gingerbread. Um, so we're gonna see what it is. I did open it enough to figure out, oh, I know, and it told me. I was like, well, I gotta bring paper. Um, so this is truly, I don't have a lot of extra supplies. We're gonna see what we can make. But it had this little flyer. Aren't those little gingerbread guys cute? I'm gonna make some of those at Thanksgiving. Um, and it told me the recommended colors. And boy, I don't have my glasses, so let's hope this goes well. Cinnamon Cider, Daffodil Delight, Calypso Coral, Mint Macron, Shaded Spruce, Blushing Bright, and Whisper White. So I went and grabbed a bunch of pieces of paper in those colors and I have my trimmer. And that's it. And then I have markers. So I brought markers, my stamp and blends, in those same colors. Because I knew from seeing some people's stamps that um, you could color the little gingerbread house. And it's got cute, oh, it says happy holidays, more merry. It's a very cute stamp set. So even once the paper supplies are gone, you've got the stamp set to help you out. Um, so anyway, oh, Blush and Bride, and I'm gonna use this ink. And I do have a Shaded Spruce and um, from last month's kit, and I have some Memento Black ink um, that I brought. So this kit makes, if I can get it out, and I have scissors, yes. All right, I gotta get used to where the spacing is on this table. Um, this kit is made to make, um, they are super cute. I know, I just showed them to you upside down. To make little gift card holders. So if you've got a bunch of people that you're gonna give gift card holders to, um, you could just make them as is, which we're gonna make one as is to see how it goes. Um, all right, I may have to find my glasses because I will tell you, my disclaimer is, I'm not sure why Stampin' Up! does this, but let's look at this. Look how, so they always give you directions, which is super cool, but, oh, it's actually better than normal. I can read this. Maybe they went up a font size. You know, I think it depends on how many steps are, and the black and white is really clear. I think they changed it. Do I have last month's? Oh, hold on. I'm just like, that looks different to me. But maybe I just missed. Now, well, last month was done differently. And it was, oh, I know, because they were doing it in Europe and Japan. Um, yeah, so they did it differently. Anyway, I can read it. I don't need my glasses. But I do need to take my sweatshirt off. I always get hot when I do these videos. And I don't even have my big lights on here. All right, so now I'm ready to go. Oh, my hair's messy, but you can't see it yet. So you'll be all right. Okay, so stamp sentiments on die cut labels and details on die cut houses. Fold in the flap of a gingerbread house. Okay, adhere stamped house pieces to that. Uh, okay, we'll see. 
All right, I'll leave the directions open to the side. Um, when you're traveling and on the go, this little piece of cardboard makes a great um, like grid paper. Okay, so we have little um, colored ones, which, oh, I see, they go above the house. Okay, so these are for stamping our greetings on. Here are, oh, look at this. So here are our little gingerbread houses. Let's punch one out. Okay, so uh, craft kits, like what are they good for? Well, they're good for something like this. You're, and although right now there's probably not a lot of on the go, um, but they're great just for a little afternoon of crafting. Do them with your, um, whoever's in your family, whoever's at your house, um, you can make them with them. Uh, they can just help you, like I need more Christmas cards so I can start addressing them and sending them out. So um, this is a great way to get your Christmas cards done. Oh, look at the little gingerbread houses. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, and they the window is different. Okay, so you have a yellow window, a uh, mint macaron window, a shaded spruce window. Very cool. Okay, so we're definitely, we'll just leave one out. Uh, oh, and these are the cute little envelopes. Ah, but this is what we're gonna need because I meant to like dig through and find some designer series paper that was in these colors, but I know I'm not gonna, I'm gonna end up making most of these into full-size cards, although not all. Um, I talked about it when I made three by three cards on a previous uh, little tutorial video. Um, I'm gonna do a couple of these and give them with um, tips for carry out or at the Starbucks. So I am gonna save a few, but we're gonna use that. What color is that? Oh, that's Calypso Coral. We're gonna use that as DSP on a card. So if you're like me, you really don't have much extra things. All I got is some cardstock and these stamps. Okay, can I get this open? And we've got this pouch of goodies here. Okay. This is what I thought was so cool. All right, let's get all this fun stuff out. So we got some double-sided tape. You have some glue dots. I will say, even though I was traveling, I stuck a roll of glue dots in. So I didn't have to use those, but they're great. Ooh, there's two sheets of these. Ooh, and they're they're thick and nice, and they're adhesive. Those are really cute little candies. Okay, I'll throw these over here. Oh, and then look, it came with two sheets. Okay, I brought dimensionals, but apparently I didn't need to. It came with two sheets of dimensionals. Okay, so let's go ahead and make this, and then we'll make one card together. That way, and then I'll try to. I'll be making cards um, all afternoon. I think I'm going to watch. Um, on my iPad, I'm gonna watch some uh, Netflix Christmas movies and I'm gonna make up a bunch of cards and then I will post them later. Okay, stamp sentiments on die cut labels. Okay, let's look at these sentiments. Enjoy, okay, so if I'm gonna, I'm gonna do happy holidays. Like, cause if I'm gonna give this away to someone, that's a good one, even though, you know, it's a gingerbread house. Okay, so if you, when you first order a paper pumpkin kit, you will get one of these um, little small travel blocks, paper pumpkin blocks with your kit. If you're doing a small stamp like this, put it in the upper right or left corner. That If you put it right in the middle, sometimes you rock and you get ink where you don't want it to go. Um, so that's a little tip. Um, the kits are easy to subscribe to. Go to paperpumpkin.com, subscribe away, choose me as your demo, I'd really appreciate it. Um, now, you won't be able to get this exact one, possibly, but they do post refills. It'll probably go up Monday. Whatever the um, first Monday after the 20th, and today is the 20th, so, oh my gosh, I can't get it open. Um, they always come with an ink spot, so it's a great way to build up ink colors if you're newer to stamping. There we go. All right, let's ink this up. And so what you would do now, see how this is bigger than the ink? I could go back and forth, but an easy way to do that is to actually turn over your ink spot and just go back and forth across it. Okay, so let's stamp. This is a little spinny, but let's do it. Let's stamp our happy holidays right here in the middle. Ta-da! It's not my most perfect stamp, but I'll take it. Okay, put the lid on for now. Oh, actually, let's get out. So what it stamped, the details on the die cut houses. Oh, these little swirly burly pieces. Look at that. 
All right, that's exciting. Um, okay. You know what? I didn't. Where is it? Oh, here we go. I found a piece of notebook paper. I had to take a fancy piece of paper. I didn't bring a regular notebook. This was um, the notebook I'm using for my yoga class that I'm taking. Okay, so we're going to take this off. I did bring another block. It was like the old one I had. Okay, so stamp the detail pieces. I'm excited. I want to see what this looks like. I love little swirly burly pieces a lot. Okay, that's on there. So remember the same thing. Um, turn it over and stamp it on here. You're going to see how does a tired Audra stamp. I think after I do this video, I'm going to take a nap. That'll be good. My son, I just drove him over to the school so that he could work on his paper because he was at home and he was like, I'm not getting anything done. So I was like, okay. okay. Oh, that's cute. All right, so that's the little swirlies. And then see, this is going to go here. Yeah. All right, and we're going to put that on with dimensionals. Hold on. I got dimensionals here. All right, so I'm glad a couple people are joining me right now. That's awesome. And if not, don't worry, I'll post it to YouTube. It'll be sitting here on Facebook. You guys can look at it later at your leisure. And I'm always happy to know that you were here. All right, so that goes on there. All right, so now we need a house. I don't want, I don't want, a, I want a different color house. There we go. Like, I don't want the same color as the outline. Okay, so then this is my understanding how this goes together. You got a bone folder we sell these uh, you want one of those okay so then you're supposed to use this double-sided tape which we sell so if you like double-sided tape you like to make a lot of 3d projects it's called tear and tape see how I could tear it and I didn't have to use my scissors and then you want to get that to stick down nice and good okay wait a minute is it just open at the bottom won't the gift card fall out let's look Fold and flap, attach adhesive to flap, attach, ah, attach adhesive dots to bottom the inside edge. Interesting. Close house. So basically what they're kind of saying is they probably didn't give us enough tape to do this. So they're saying we put the glue dots. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But if you're not going to make them all into gift cards, you probably have enough tape. So you would put your adhesive dots across the bottom. I wonder why they did that. Why make it a two-step process, Stampin' Up? Bet it was, well, it probably was a cost saving device. So I will tell you the cool thing about these craft boxes is I want to say they're about like 22 bucks and it gets shipped to you. Could be 24. I could have it wrong. Um, I'd have to look it back up. So it's very affordable for a like monthly craft deal. Okay. I don't have a gift card, but I got a hotel card. And so that would go in there okay so let's put it on let's not lose this or I won't be able to come back to come back in and so then this oh that's really cute it is really cute glue dots you know so you could also just use for this um, I did bring my adhesive because I'm planning to make a bunch of cards so let's just do that get it started brought my snail and I saw these, um, some other demo posted, I saw them as ornaments. And then you put the gift card in them. That would be so awesome, especially if you got a lot of teenagers or young adults in your house. Um, what I think they did was they uh, punched a hole through there and then they tied some twine. And then this, where's the, let's find an envelope. All right, here we go. And then you put your gift card in. Well, let's put it in. And then we'll make a card together. And then you slide this in. And look at that. So couldn't you like leave that for your your post person, your UPS guy, um, your favorite, you know, Starbucks person, or just random at the Starbucks. Say, here, a little gift for you. I think that is really cool, actually. All right, so now I'm probably going to make a few of these like this, but let's make one into a card. All right, let's do it. So, I don't need this. You know what? Actually, I'm going to use this instead. Okay, so all I brought was my trimmer, 
and a pack of paper of all of these colors. So we're gonna go simple. Where was that flyer? The flyer, oh, no, here it is. On the flyer, look at that. They just did, it looks like they added, oh, they took the hearts, oh, how cute. Okay, very cool. Wishing you a jolly, and they just added a little ribbon, a little twine. I don't have any ribbon or twine. I should have probably brought that. That would have been a good idea. Okay, but let's go ahead and just stamp something and see what we get. I did bring white. So let's stamp the gingerbread house image and let's go and then we'll color it a little bit maybe. And that'll be our fancy card. I want uh, cinnamon cider as our card base. Ta-da, I love cinnamon cider. It's one of my favorite colors. Okay, so a card base, if you haven't been cutting card bases all the time, I'm expert at cutting card bases, is you just cut the card in half. And you can cut it in half the a long way or the short way. And I learned a fun thing, um, who was her? Uh, Shannon uh, West from Stampin' Up, um, she calls uh, a card that uses this, so that's a hamburger card, and a card that would use the long way, a hot dog card. I thought that was kind of cute. Okay, so we're gonna cut this at five and a half. This is gonna be our card base. All right, and then we might add some more layers in a moment too. And then we're gonna stamp a little bit. So let's go ahead, I don't like to stamp on a big old piece. So let's cut, we're gonna cut this at five and a quarter. So this is a little um, card making basics too here. So a basic card front is five and a quarter by four. So we're gonna cut one of those. Actually, we're gonna cut two of those. And then I have a feeling we're gonna add another layer, but I kind of get an idea. I got an idea with a little stamp what we might do. This can come in really handy, this little half inch piece for uh, greeting. So don't throw those away at first. Okay. And then we're gonna take this half a piece to stamp on. I'm trying to put everything here by the edge so I'll know where it is. Okay, so I wanna look at the, the gingerbread house. I wanna see what it looks like. So let's get it out here. And we are gonna put it on the other side of this block and we are gonna stamp it in memento black. Put this piece of paper back under. I don't think it'll hurt the desk, but just in case. All right, so let's ink it up. If you're using a memento pad, you can wiggle it because it's a linen pad, not a foam pad. So if I was at home and I'm using a foam pad, um, you know, regular Stampin' Up colors, I would not wiggle it, I would just press it in. Stamp it down because we are going to have to cut it out. I shouldn't have made such a deluxe card, but I was like, gotta, gotta go big, right? Ta-da! Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Super cute. Super, super cute. Okay, so let's color this little bad boy. And we'll see what we can do. What kind of colors? It's a gingerbread house, so... And if you like coloring, you should go check out, I'm gonna do mine in rows. You should go check out uh, last week's uh, video. I don't know what it's called. Um, what did I make? It was, oh, the Simply Succulents product spotlight video. And I used the Stampin' Blends and I gave you a couple quick coloring techniques. Now on this, I'm not going for shading. You know what, let's zoom in. Okay, I'm not gonna go for shading. I'm not gonna go for super fancy. I am just gonna use these as some of the best markers in the land. We are gonna color this. Now, you could use this without coloring it. You could color this with your stamp and write markers. You can color it with your colored pencils. If you're a new crafter and you don't have any of those Stampin' Up things, you um, can color it with whatever you want. Use your Crayola markers. I love Crayola markers. Okay, I will tell you though, I do love Stampin' Blend, uh, well, I love Stampin' Blends, but I love our Stampin' Write markers even better than Crayola markers. But Crayola markers are awesome. And I really used to like, um, back in the day, I worked at a school, and I, you guys are gonna laugh. You're gonna laugh in a good way. 
I was the motivational coordinator at a charter school. How is that for a job title? Motivational coordinator. And I um, did all the bulletin boards and I celebrated the kids' birthdays and I um, helped with all sorts of fun stuff. I planned field trips, but I used to make the bulletin boards and you know, we are pretty low budget school. So I got markers, I had those um, Mr. Sketch smelly markers. Oh, they were awesome. They were so awesome and they wrote so well and I had paper and glue and tape, so pretty, you know, nothing too exciting. But it was really fun. So look at that, I was playing with stuff even before. And this one should be the same. Look at that, how easy is that to color? We're gonna color in the chimney. We're gonna give it a red chimney because I got some red here. So you didn't know you're gonna watch a video of me coloring when it's no, you know what? We're gonna leave the chimney. Put that right away. Let's keep coloring with the same color scheme. Let's color this little heart. And then we're gonna cut this out. We're gonna make a cute card. Okay. I'm gonna do those dots. I'm gonna do this bottom part green. So I'm using Calypso Coral and uh Jade. Probably should be shaded spruce, but I did not bring that one. I brought this so I can color the leaves. Last month's paper pumpkin kit. Here's the stamp set. I was going to show it to you. I don't know. It has this beautiful flower, and so I thought I would color it up. And the little stripies. Oh, can I tell you? So this morning, I did, um, I went out to the Target to get some food and water to have here at the hotel so I don't have to eat all out to eat food. And all, the, I hadn't been to the store in a little while, all the Christmas stuff is out. I'm okay with that and it was really pretty. And so I just walked around, a little bonus walking around to uh, look at things. I wanna color those dots. Okay, and then we're gonna cut this out and we're gonna put it on a card. So you could, of course, keep coloring. You can color the whole thing or not. If you are soothed by coloring, sometimes, like I said, I'm gonna watch a movie, I might decide to color. All right, let's cut this little bad boy out. Good thing you can't see me squinting. I really should've went and got my glasses or my purse. But it's straight lines, I think I can handle it. There's something about, I wanna say I was like 45, 46, and all of a sudden I was like, hey, it is hard to see this close-up stuff. And I was like, this is, because I've never worn glasses before, and I was like, this is what everybody was talking about. That is a bummer. And I will tell you, every once in a while, um, something with little print somewhere where the light is not good, oh my goodness, I like, it's very annoying, because you just can't quite see it. Ooh, I cut a little deep in there. No, I don't know. Is there a smoke? Oh, there is! Look, look, we got chimney, chimney, fancy poofs. Okay, so we are gonna use that. All right, so we are gonna cut a piece, because I want the chimney fancy poofs, but I wanna puff up my house. So what we're gonna do, here's my next go-to. My favorite measurement on a card is three by four. Oops, that scored it. Three by four. you're gonna see because it's just a nice dimension now this house you know what I'll do it in a second um, three before and then we need a layer I want an eclipse of coral layer because no 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 I want the mint layer okay um, we're gonna stamp that house on a piece of colored card stock and we're gonna see what that looks like so I did three by four let's do this this way so then go four and an eighth or you could go four and a quarter. If four, the quarters are easier than the eighths, but the eighths, I really like them. I like that little small um, line. And then go to three and an eighth. Okay, let me show you why. And then we'll see if we need any other layers. Hopefully I don't mess anything up. Okay, so see how this goes right on this. Okay, and then uh, blah, 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 blah. Where's my cinnamon? Okay, so here's our cinnamon cider. Let's fold that in half. Let's give it a... <laughs> my 
my desk is already so messy. <laughs> it's so funny. Although I will say I'm giving, I'm doing okay with keeping things up at home and not letting them get so messy. So you could do this, right? Or you could take one of those white ones and add that back on. And I think I'm gonna do that because we're gonna stamp it in the corners because I like a lot of layers. So now what we're gonna do is in cinnamon cider, oh, I can't do it in cinnamon cider. Okay, in black, we are gonna stamp these little, where's the other one? Can I make that work? I wish they had just a little strippy one. Okay, we're gonna do this one. All right, so we gotta take things off. Oh no, it'll, will it fit on my other block? I think it'll fit on my other block, let's see. Yeah. And we're gonna use that Happy Holidays, but I'm gonna move it for a second. Okay, so I have a choice of, you know what, I can use Just Jade. I'm like, I have Just Jade, I have black, and I have pink. Oh, let's use the pink, hold on, use the pink. This is gonna be cute. Um, this is Blushing Bride, and it's a beautiful pink, but I will say in the ink, it seems to come out to me as a brownish pink. This is what, yeah. And we're gonna do this four times. Oh yeah, this is gonna be very, very cute. Nope, sorry, you can't see any ink in that. I have to go up higher. Yeah, so my suitcase, I was surprised. I'm really glad they didn't have to, you know, sometimes you get that little paper in there where they look through it. I did check it. I brought like um, two tripod things, an iPad holder. I had a paper cutter in there. I had, I think I'm doing them this way. I had um, these paper pumpkin kits in there. I had all sorts of stuff in there um, because I could not fit it all on a carry-on. And mostly because I needed to bring the tripods to help with my son. So anyway, it worked out okay. Okay, so you got those. Now we need, let's stamp it off so I can take it off. We need that little Happy Holidays back. And we are going to put that on one of the little pieces. Ooh, and we're going to use these little, I almost forgot about them. We're going to use these cute little guys here too. Um, here we go. Let's go with this one. But I'm going to stamp this in black because I already have black for the house outline. So let's ink that up. I love this font. Oh, it's such a pretty font. Okay. Oh, we need that black one more time. And that's going to go there. We need our little house, and the house is going to go up on dimensionals because I want the little smoke. Where am I going to put the happy holidays? So, isn't this cute how they put the color around it? So, it's just like making two layers, which is what I would do. Mm, I think I'm going to put it like that. Okay. Because I needed to know where my house is going to go. And then I'm going to use there's two of these because they're not, they can be a couple things. They can be this little. I already lost the block. This little fleur de lis looking thing, or they could just be little squiggles like in the corners like we just did. Can I do that? And not mess it up? Let's try. The good thing is I can always cut that piece of paper over. Da -da. I mean, I don't know if that's supposed to do that, but I think that works. I totally think that works. Okay, and some dimensionals. Let's close the ink pad right here so this is a little white on white but we're gonna stamp this house in a different color and see what that looks like hey Karen oh one of my buddies from the UK how are you doing I guess see it's night there I'm doing this at the two o'clock in the East Coast time so a lot of people if they're working a regular day job are not here um, okay and you guys didn't get to get this one you got the other one which I do not have my alternate samples. And oh, this little house is very cute. I hope maybe they can work it out that in the UK you guys can get paper pumpkin kits. 
All right, so we're gonna put this on a little snail. Put it on our little green paper. Oops. All right, let's see. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Okay, you guys are gonna laugh, but you already know this. I have to stand up to put this on, which you can't see, so that's good. Um, but I am crafting sitting down. All right, just to give you some more fussing, I'm gonna be fussy today. I think maybe I, oh, isn't that cute? I think maybe I mentioned that I had, I'm pretty sure I have plantar fasciitis, where your heel is, I don't know, it's the fascia at the base of your heel is swollen. And yesterday, helping my son and being in the airport and doing everything, I wore my super cute and normally very comfortable boots, but I had put little inserts in to help with the heel with padding. And I don't know if that made it worse or not, but oh, my feet, my foot is hurting. Okay, come on. My foot is hurting today. So I'm definitely happy to be able to just chill out a little bit. Because tomorrow, I'm back to videographing mom. My son is applying for grad schools for percussion. And so it's all virtual this year. So instead of, so in some ways it's gonna save us some money because we don't have to get him to different places to audition, but he's gotta get audition tapes. And I think he's gonna use some of the last night and he's already filmed a couple. Um, but uh, Florida State requires a full run through. So we're gonna do that tomorrow morning. Um, this is really cute. Now, if I was at home, I may have done the little things in the corner and set them in cider. I might have done that, but since I'm here and this is the only colors I have, and you know what else? I think maybe put this house up higher because then you could put these little things like a path to it. So I was gonna put the words down here, but I think I'm gonna put them here, there. So I'm gonna make it work. And that's what you do as a crafter. There's really no right or wrong way. And occasionally you make something and you're just like, ooh, I don't really like that. And that's okay. Okay. And what time is it? How long? Oh, we're already at 30 minutes. You know I like to keep these videos to about 30 minutes. So I'm only gonna make this one card. It's probably because I, I colored and I cut. Um, okay, that's gonna go there. Happy holidays. Oh yes, the frozen water bottle trick. I forgot about that. I, you know what? I'm gonna see if my little um, refrigerator in this hotel room has a freezer and I'm gonna do that. That is a good idea. Someone had told me about that. At home, I've been icing it and I've been stretching it. What color? No, I want this color. This color, this color. All right, where should I put the candies? Does it need candies? Oh, no, not that color. Let's go with the Clips of Coral one. I, I just feel like one of. All right. So I'm going to put a candy there. And a pink and a candy here. And I am going to do a green one. Now nah, I'm going to do another one of this color. It's a Calypso Coral. And a candy here. And there, oh, they're squishy. That's really neat. Isn't that a cute card? Okay, that's a cute card with like no supplies. I added markers, guys. Markers and white, a little bit of paper. Okay, so there, and let me get the um, actual one so I can send you on your way. So here is the little gift card holder or money. You can put money in there. Um, and there is a cute little card. So I'm going to make a bunch of cards um, in the next couple hours, and I will post them either tonight or tomorrow. So thank you so much for joining me for a little Crafty Corner on the go crafting. Um, I should also take a picture of this desk because you will not believe how messy, <laughs> how messy it is just for making two little cards. Um, okay, so have a great uh, Friday and a great weekend. Um, I'm driving home. We're driving from Indiana to Maryland, which is a 10, 11 hour drive plus stops. Um, so I probably will not do 
a Facebook Live on Sunday night. So, and Monday I have my class. So, you know, we're going to just go all rogue. I know they say consistency is key, but I'm like real life is key. So maybe I'll do one Tuesday night at 830. So there you go. Maybe Tuesday works for you better than uh, Sunday or Monday. So thank you for watching. Uh, Karen, it was so awesome for you to join me from the UK. That is super fun. And I will see you next time. Stay crafty, friends.